Today we're going to have some fun with the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite version. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect this up. We're going to give you guys a walkthrough of the software and our first look of using it together. Now what I'm going to do is grab of course a USB-C cable which I already have sitting here. Now it does come with one but I have a little bit longer one for this purpose so we can actually connect it up. Right here you guys are going to see that it is now of course connected. It has a light and it did come on. What I'm going to now do is of course move down the monitor mount for me so I can actually set it on for usage of this video purpose. Now I'm setting it right in front of the Sony ZV-E10 that I actually have running and showing guys with this. Now that I have it hooked up, we're going to switch views and angles. Now you guys are going to see we have the software over here. We're going to bounce over into the software for this camera. With that being said, I'm also going to pop up this little screen right here and it's actually going to show you guys the camera angle that you are seeing. With that being said, I can bring this up just like this, and now I am in angled view. What I can now drop off is, of course, the Sony ZV-E10, and we can actually large this screen a little bit bigger for all of our purposes of this video, just like that. We're now up in there. Now, the cool part is right now we're showing you guys at 1080p at 30 frames per second, but we can definitely go into 4K resolution just like that. Now, we are in, of course, landscape mode, but if we want to, we can swap it into portrait mode. Now, portrait mode just means we're in this angle. To get that widescreen, we'd have to tip the, the camera sideways to get that perfect angle, but it can do that as we need. Now, we're going to go back and, of course, to portrait mode with this. Uh, on hand if we can get this to go back into landscape mode with that now yes you can adjust the audio and everything in between tracking if i want to go into tracking it's going to track me and it's going to move around with me now you guys can see all the jackery products back here of course the camera is nice and smooth if i want to i can stand up it will follow me if i sit back down it's going to come back down with me and that's actually kind of cool now if i really want to i can do this and they'll stop i can do this again and it'll go back out. You have hand gesture controls. Now he does have, of course, presets where we can actually do a preset where it's wanted to. I can leave the preset right there, but if I want to move over this way, I can actually say, hey, let's add another preset. Let's move it this way. Let's turn off tracking. Let's move it to the side and let's set the preset up there. So if I hit preset one, it's going to come there. If I hit preset two, it's going to go back there. I love that it has those options. Now, if I don't want presets on, I just turn back on tracking. Now I can do motion tracking, standard tracking. We can also mess around with the image where we can do auto focusing, uh, auto exposures, white balances and contrast. Or we even have more where we can do a sleeping background image, uh, sleep timers, auto timers, and we can do lock on target just like that. Uh, it's kind of cool that we can do all this. Now, dynamic zoom is going to be like this, of course. Uh, that will do dynamic zoom for this purpose of this video. Now, audio, of course, you guys can do audio direction. We can do directional flip if we want to just directional flip. Uh, microphone status, of course, and everything in between. We can even mirror image, which is great. It's actually a nice little camera that does very well from instantly plug and play. You guys can see that coloration and variations of it working with us. Now, of course, moving around, it's going to start moving and adjusting with me. And you guys can start seeing my house and everything. This is a beautiful little camera. So if you guys are looking for a camera that's going to help your content creation and everything, the Alphabet Tiny 2 Lite might be the one for you.